Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today we'll continue building financial model uh, of a rent calculator for an uh, offline business idea. So if you have uh, the legend for this video is, uh, for example, you have uh, multiple locations to choose between uh, starting your business idea. You have to choose uh, between these location or that location. So each location has its own uh, leasing contract. Uh, its own price for the rent and you have to choose uh, so this uh, template this financial model will help you to evaluate financial efficiency of uh, this scenario of that scenario so you will be specifying the um, the uh, inputs for this or that uh, rent uh, contract a listening agreement and you will be able to see uh, the simple discounted payback period net present value for this location or that location so um, in previous video we've uh, created uh, the timeline and now it's time to place uh, rent expenses inside this timeline so first of all I will just copy this timeline I will call it this block rent expenses so first of all we have to place uh, the deposit inside the time uh, inside the timeline So we will take uh, the deposit value, freeze it, and uh, let's find this line investment stage start. I will link these expenses uh, to this line that we already created. So this is the moment when we pay uh, the deposit to the landlord then uh, the next uh, the next payment will be uh, rent monthly rent so for this exercise we will have to write uh, a little bit complicated formal but it's not so complicated we just have to um, mm, uh, to mention all the uh, conditions in the e formula so if uh, if uh, this value if the uh, no, no no if grace period if grace period just a moment if grace period so the first condition is if grace period equals to zero then we will start uh, paying the rent right from the first month of uh, operating activity of, you know, of investment stage so I will pick the monthly rent from here and multiply it to the moment to this line then the second condition we will use if and formula so if the if we do have a grace period if this value is more than zero and and uh, this line this line the value of this line is uh, strictly more than um, this value the grace period
I will take the rent I will take the rent and link it to the project otherwise zero and I'm closing brackets So now we we put our leasing expenses inside the timeline. They will later go to the cash flow statement. These are the first expenses uh, which we've calculated, which will go to the cash flow statement. So how it works? Let's create some scenarios. For example, we don't have grace period at all. Now we can see how we start uh, rent payments right from the first month when we uh, start the investment stage. For example, if we have uh, seven months grace period, so these are seven months since we start the investment stage and then we start uh, paying the rent if we for example change um, the month when we start operating activity so investment stage is for example two months so we have uh, we, we start our investment stage in January we have for example four months of grace period one two three four and then we start paying uh, the rent we can uh, make zero de uh, for deposit so this is uh, the block of inputs which works uh, for um, deposit payments and rent payments. So the next video uh, will be devoted to uh, starting of creation of uh, revenue generating algorithm. So if you find this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. So, see you guys in next videos, thank you and bye!